Here I am going to talk about mechanical advantage. This is a term which is very very related with simple machine. This is one of the important term for simple machine. We will talk about four different factors related with mechanical advantage. Number one, first is definition. And second, we'll talk about this formula, or we can say equation also. Thirdly, I will tell you about unit. And lastly, we talk about its importance. Okay, let's talk about this one by one. What is the definition of mechanical advantage? This mechanical advantage can be defined this way. Number one, I am talking about mechanical advantage, the ratio of load to the effort. Is, I am writing shortly, is mechanical advantage in simple machine. Exactly what it means in each and every simple machine, whether it is lever or pulley or wheel and axle or it is inclined plane, whatever it be, but certain amount of load is raised by using this simple machine or pulled uh, along certain distance in, in the simple machine. What amount of load is lifted by using what amount of effort? We are concerned with these two terms, load and effort. The ratio of load to the effort means load should come in numerator and effort should come in denominator that's why its formula becomes mechanical advantage is equal to load upon effort it is the ratio of load to the effort not effort to the load that's why if load is taken in numerator and effort is taken in denominator then we'll get this formula mechanical advantage now what is its unit and let's say this is a let's say this is over and a load is being lifted or torn by using bar we want to lift or torn this load and we are using falcom here and if load is let's say 200 newton 200 newton is load and applying force one 100 newton we are able to if we are able to do turn this load with the help of this value we can say that 200 newton load is if raised by using 100 newton effort then what happens look at this newton newton cancel each other and these two zeros also cancel each other the result will be two this is just the example mechanical advantage comes to it means it means unit of mechanical advantage is not there. Mechanical advantage doesn't have any unit. That's why we can conclude that it has no unit. It has no unit. Why it has no unit? Because load is a kind of force. The force with which earth attracts a body towards its center is the load of that body or weight of that body. It's SI system, according to SI system, its unit is Newton. And effort is the force which we use to turn or lift the load. It is also measured in Newton. That's why it is a ratio of two forces. So, the Newton cancel each other from numerator and denominator and uh, we don't have its unit. Since it is a ratio of two forces, so it doesn't have unit we can reply this way also why it has no unit we can reply this way now what is the importance of this term now i'm talking about the importance of this term just for example in this case if someone says without this value if someone says that if we turn this load then we'll get mechanical advantage too what it mean it means the effort used in this simple machine will be able to raise two times heavy load. What effort is applied on it, it will be able to raise two times heavy load. It means just by the information is me mechanical advantage is two, we can understand that what amount of effort is applied on that simple machine, two times greater load can be raised. If we have to raise here 500 Newton load, then certainly we have to apply 250 Newton effort. That's why this two 
Mechanical advantage 2 says that what amount of force is applied that will be able to raise 2 times greater effort. If mechanical advantage is 3, 3 times greater, greater load. Well, mechanical advantage of a simple machine is E4. Then we can say that uh, what amount of effort is applied on that simple machine that effort will be able to raise 4 times heavy load. It means this number says how many times the heavy load heavy load can be lifted by the applied effort this is the importance of this mechanical advantage okay i told you about uh, mechanical advantage there are four basic matter ratio of load to the effort is the mechanical advantage is formula is m a equal to load by effort it is unitless because it is the ratio of two forces and what is what is its importance we can understand with the help of this number we can understand how many times heavy load can be lifted by the used effort and there there is one another exceptional condition also if mechanical advantage of a simple machine is less than one if it is less than one then we'll have mechanical disadvantage what the meaning if mechanical advantage comes in point number like this 0 0.5 0 0.2 what it mean in this cases more effort is needed to raise heavy load this is the meaning that's why this can be understood as mechanical disadvantage if ma is less than one okay this was for today